Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm teaching you how to make the best rice in the Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com and welcome to my new house. This is my first video that I've filmed in my house. Now my kitchen isn't quite put together yet and my house is still in boxes, but I am making this video for you because I don't want to miss a Monday. So today I'm sharing with you how to make Instant Pot rice. This is one of my most frequently asked questions and so I thought I would show you how to do it today. There are three different kinds of rice that I like to cook. White rice, brown rice, and wild rice. So today I'm cooking the white rice for you, but I'm gonna explain how to do the brown rice and the wild rice too. They're very, very similar and they're all really easy to do. All right guys, let's head on over to the kitchen and make this Instant Pot rice. So I'm gonna show you how to do the white rice today. Now I'm not picky about my rice, I just got this at Kroger and then this is the brown rice that I buy. Really I buy whatever is cheapest. Now you can make your rice different ways. You can use oil, you can use salt, but I just use two simple ingredients which are rice and water. Now there are recipes that call for oil and salt. I'll also put those in the description below for you so you can have all of your rice recipes right in the description. Okay, so on to the recipe. I have one cup of rice that I rinsed until the water ran clear. So this is my cup of rice and I'm just gonna put it right in the bottom of my Instant Pot. And I know I should probably use a spatula or something but my fingers are clean and it just works for me. <laughs> all right, next I'm gonna add my water. So for one cup of rice, I like to add one and one fourth cup of water or chicken broth or any type of liquid that I want to cook my rice with. The most simple basic recipe is just water. So one cup of rice to one and a fourth cup of water. Now I like my rice a little bit softer so that's why I do one and a fourth cup. Okay, we're going to put my lid on and make sure your knob is on sealing, not venting. Now, if your Instant Pot has a rice cooker, you can push that, but if it doesn't, you can just do manual or high pressure. That's what manual is, it's just high pressure. So because I love my manual button, that's what I'm gonna push. All right, so with white rice, we are going down to eight minutes. Now you can go as little as four minutes, depending how you like the texture. I like it really soft, so eight minutes it is. Then let the rice release on its own for nine to 10 minutes. Then when you're done with the nine to 10 minutes, you switch over the knob to venting and it should let out all the rest of the steam. Then you can just pull your lid off and it will be a little steamy, but your rice should be fully cooked. Now this is how I make the sticky rice. I love sticky rice for recipes because it's just a lot easier to eat but if you add a little bit of oil, it will make it a little bit harder so it won't stick together. And I'll put that recipe in the description below for you. But for me, I love my sticky white rice. Now thanks for stopping by today on Instant Pot Monday. Now if you haven't subscribed to Six Sister Stuff, go ahead and do that now. All right guys, see you next Monday, bye.